Guys, we have to talk about an issue that's been bothering me a lot lately, and it has to do with ancient Bitcoin wells. There's been too many of them lately that have so suddenly started to come alive with Bitcoin wallets, um, you know, dating back to 09, months or days after Bitcoin debuted. Is this a, a harrowing sign of something else? Are these Satoshi's alternate alternative wallets that are coming alive, and will he sell his main wallet? But let's take a look at the latest movement. So an ancient Bitcoin whale with $3.58 million worth of Bitcoin actually sent it to Kraken's exchange. And this one was not like, you know, 2011, 2012, it was 2009. And in fact, it was mined one month after the February, March launch in 09 of Bitcoin. Basically, he the latest transfer he did was October 3rd, worth $610,000. Now, the problem is not the $610,000. That's not really what's bothering me. That's not a, a large amount for an ancient Bitcoin well. But these ancient Bitcoin wells are anonymous. We don't know who they are. They tend to have several addresses mining Bitcoin that early, and then t they tend to have a lot of Bitcoin. So like they've moved 3.58 million to Kraken since September 24th. Of course, Kraken knows who they are, but they won't tell us because obviously it's a security and privacy issue. After moving several times, uh, this Bitcoin, uh, this Bitcoin uh, was then held dormant for almost 10 years straight, during which it increased in value from 447K uh, to $80 million. There's been way, way too many of these uh, Bitcoin whales that have mined Bitcoin since 09 that have basically been dormant for a decade or more. There's been three or four just recently in the last three months that I've actually remembered more than pretty much like, and these are ancient Bitcoins from 09. I mean, they might be Satoshi Nakamoto from that, clo from that close to the launch. Of course, the original Satoshi wallet hasn't moved, but he might be just maneuvering the rest of his coins and selling, selling them before he makes the big move. And that would decimate crypto. Even if he moved one Bitcoin or half a Bitcoin from his original address, that would decimate crypto. And he could be plotting to sell all the rest of these auxiliary coins for several million dollars before he annihilates Bitcoin altogether. It could be that sinister. Of course, I'm guessing. But the thing is, like, the amount of people that actually knew about Bitcoin one month after launch is very limited. And it's a very small pool of people. So it's very likely that these people that are moving if they're not Satoshi Nakamoto, know about Satoshi Nakamoto. And remember, we have a documentary coming up uh, in a few days that is supposedly going to reveal Satoshi Nakamoto. Will he start moving his coins on that date? And if he does, how much chaos would it actually bring to the world of crypto? You know, I'm just like feeling it this time because even during before the last couple of bull runs, there weren't that many ancient wells, at least not 2009 ancient, that were moving their Bitcoins before then. They kind of remain dormant, but there's been so many cases recently that these whales in the first couple of months of Bitcoin's existence have started to move Bitcoin. And no, this does not mean an altcoin is going to overtake Bitcoin. It just means it's going to crash the entire market if this is true. Wouldn't it be kind of ironic if we were worried about, you know, if Kamala Harris getting elected was going to destroy Bitcoin? If the Bitcoin whale sells out, if these Bitcoin whales start selling out first and tank the price even before that, that would have nothing to do with the political administrations or any policies or regulations. And Gary, it wouldn't be Gary Ginzer's fault. These guys would just be selling out. And if Satoshi decides to move his wallet, then all bets are off. And who knows? One one of these ancient Bitcoin wells could possibly be Satoshi Nakamoto, just not his main wallet, because I bet Satoshi probably had multiple wallets. And what if one of them is? What if he's active? And what if he decides to sell that wallet or sell large amounts of Bitcoin? Because these ancient Bitcoin whales have a lot. So let me know what you think about it. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.